Alright, so in this video we're going to look at uh, finding the work required to pump the water over the sides of a swimming pool. So it says we have a circular swimming pool and it has a diameter of 24 feet, the sides are 5 feet high, and the depth of the water is 4 feet. Okay, so how much work is required to pump all of the water out over the sides and we use the fact that water weighs 62.5 pounds per cubic foot and, so, and and the way that we work this this would work for you know whatever if it's water or whatever substance it is as long as we have the weight of that substance okay all right so first let's just go ahead and draw a picture of the pool so there's the side. So there's the pool. And we need the diameter is 24 feet. The height of the pool is five feet and the depth of the water is four feet and so that means from the top of the water to the top of the pool is one foot okay all right so the way that we want to do this is don't worry about all of the water let's just look at a one slice of it Okay, let's slice this up. So if we look at a slice of the water, okay, and we'll say that this, this thickness here of this slice, we'll call that delta x. Okay. All right. So looking at this, we're, we're wanting to find the work done. Well, we know that the work is force times distance. Okay, so all we're going to do is calculate the work required for just this one slice. Okay, that's how that's how we're going to get our uh, function that we're going to integrate. So if I look at this, I need the distance of this slice to the top of the tank. So what's that distance? Well, we'll call it x. Okay. All right. So there's the distance, d. That's x. Now we need the force. Well, the force is the volume of this slice times the weight of the water. Okay. See, once we get the volume of this slice, that volume's in cubic feet and then the weight is in pounds per cubic feet so once we multiply the 62.5 times the volume of this slice then that'll give us the force okay alright so first let's get the volume okay well we know to get the volume this piece that we this slice that we're looking at it's a circle okay it tells us it's a circular swimming pool so we need the radius, which we know is 12. Okay. So the volume of this slice is pi times the radius squared times the height of this slice. So times delta x. Okay. So this is going to give us 144 pi times delta x. That's the volume of this slice. Okay. So the force, okay, the force is the pounds per cubic foot, the 62.5, times the volume. Okay. So the volume is 144 pi times delta x. 
So for the force we get when we multiply this, we get 9,000 pi times delta x. Okay. So there's our force. Well, we know the work is force times distance. Okay. So the work is the force times the distance, x. Now, remember, this is just the work for this slice here. Okay? But see, we're going to have a bunch of slices that we're going to move up, a bunch of slices of water. Okay? So the work, we can integrate it. All right? It's going to be 9,000 pi, okay, x delta x, okay. So I'm what I'm doing is I'm integrating this thing here, okay. And the 9,000, the 9,000 pi, I just pulled that. It's a constant, so I pulled it outside of the integral. All right. So we're going to have to sum all of the slices up. All right. So we take a slice at the very top. So that slice at the very top, how far does it have to move up to get over the side of the tank of the swimming pool? One foot. So we're going to sum from one, two, and then the bottom slice. How far does it have to move up to get over the side? Well, that's five feet. So we're going to go from one to five. And the delta x, well, we can write delta x as dx. Okay? All right. So now we just integrate. So that's going to give us 9,000 pi times 1 half x squared. And that's from 1 to 5. Okay? And so that gives us, that's what, 4,500 pi, one half times 9,000 x squared from 1 to 5. I'm going to separate the variable from the constant when I plug in the 5 and the 1. So that's 4,500 pi times, and then that's going to be 5 squared minus 1 squared. Okay. And then when we calculate this, this is going to give us 108 thousand pi and that is foot pounds. This would be the work. Okay. So I do have another video on uh, pumping water out of a uh, inverted cone. You can check that out. And notice these units here were in feet and pounds. The other example is in meters and kilograms. And so it's, I mean, it's the same thing. It's just a little more you have to do to find the uh, force. Okay. So, you know, check that video out. Uh, th these, all these videos are in my, uh, in the playlist, uh, calculus integrals. So you can check that out. They should, they'll be in there. All right. So I uh, hope this helped. Uh, Give me a like, share, subscribe, and thanks for watching.